Hey guys, Dark Universe here, and in this video, I'll be playing uh, Banished, the Mega Mod. So, um, I did do a vanilla series earlier, and it, it got quite boring. And after I tried this out, uh, you just you can't return to vanilla after you try out the Mega Mod. You just you just can't. There's so much stuff. Um, yep. Okay, yeah. Let's just go get straight into this. I'm gonna do medium plus. Uh, disaster zone, climate. Wow. Okay, climate fair. Map very large. Uh, I'll just do valley. And I, I don't care. Don't care about the menu. Okay, please give me a good starting location. All right. So everyone spawned in. Let's take a look at this. Uh, I'm not sure I like this, but we we have to <laughs> we have to roll this now. Oh, this oh, that's horrible. Okay, whatever. Crap. Okay, whatever. Okay, uh, let's open up the the things. As you can see, there are quite a few professions <laughs> you can choose from, and a uh, very decent amount of buildings as well. Yeah, a lot, a lot of new things added to this. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just gonna go like, go to make this open. Why not? All right. It's covering like the entire screen. <clears throat> so where should we start from? I. Th I want, to, I want to build that like an outpost thing. Um, uh, what I count as an outpost is a gatherer's hut, hunting cabin, houses, storage, and maybe a forester's lodge in a certain area. Maybe here. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna build it there. Even though it's uh, not even that good of a location. Maybe here. Don't know. Is there, is there a yeah? There's a slight elevation here, but I don't think it'll be that big of a problem. Here, let's just place it here. Two types of. Uh. Uh. Yeah, the hunting cabin right beside it. Quite difficult to place a road now. Okay, no, it won't. Never mind. Let's go like that. Like that. And like that. So, we're building them here. Uh, let's put down a stockpile. Just a small one. Okay, that's ready. So they won't have to travel so far to <coughs> place down the resources. Let's okay, let's play this out. Now they're using this stockpile. Awesome. There's so many ways to get food in the Mega Mod. It's it's insane. Just look at all this. Look. <laughs> I don't even know half the stuff in this mod. Probably more than that. But I love it. Let's get three builders to build that. Okay, let's get six. 
and uh, then I also want a forester's lodge to end away start getting wood. This is the most efficient location. Kind of messed up on the placement, but. I don't know why you would want a food limit. I mean, sure, on any other resource like maybe firewood, because you don't, because you make firewood out of wood, and if you don't want them to use so much wood, then you set a limit. But for food, really, why? Also, not many people. Well, maybe a lot of people know this already, but I've seen a few who don't. You can have four people at a hunting cabin. You literally just click on this arrow and there we go. Okay, maybe I might pop it down to three. Because I still want people working here and uh, I want a wood woodcutter's place later. City is quite active right now. Really, I I even set it as why does that have two out of two builders when it's not even okay? There we go, two out of two here. Jeez, that's a long time. Storage here. Not the to start with that. Okay, you guys gotta hurry up. It's early autumn already. Please. These houses by winter, we're all pretty sure we're gonna need another one. Please, it's late autumn. It's literally gonna be winter. Oh, wait, yeah, it's literally gonna be winter right now. Seriously, you're serious. 
Why aren't you building it? Why aren't you building this? Why aren't you idiots putting stuff in here? So this is going terribly long. It just started. Are you kidding me right now? Oh man. Preparing, preparing for death. Just, just give it, to, give, give it to me. Give it to me. Do it. Come on. Oh my. Why? The two people. Why did one person move into that house? I know there are two, but it went from eight to one as we. This. How many houses do you freaks need? This is actually. We have five ha Usually by this time. Actually, very bad. It's, it's horrible. What? What? Oh, come on! Usually, by the time you build five houses at the beginning of the game, it's little. It's fine. You're you're good. But no, these guys just have to. Okay, well, no one died. Okay, maybe. Yeah, no one died. That's good. Alright. <sighs> kind of surprised. No stone on here. <clears throat> I swear, if... If there's one homeless person left after building these two houses, I'm gonna free... Don't you dare do that to me. Oh, thank you. Okay. Fine. Let's get a woodcutter. Start off with Frisian cows. And we barely have any food right now. That's just wonderful. This is not a good start. It's horrible. Don't want to use that too much. Um, wood. Almost out of uh, <laughs> out of food completely. Which kind of surprised. I, I I think this spot is just inefficient. I feel like that's a problem. 
Yeah, we're, we're not getting a lot of meat from this. And barely any vegetables. Wow. That's not good. That is not good at all. Okay. Because sometimes, uh, usually when I place uh, the gatherers' huts, they get around 2,000 food each year. Yeah, a lot of vegetables. And uh, these guys get around from 800 to 1,000. Uh, meat each year, but as you can see, I'm not getting a lot. Okay, I have like no population left. Awesome. Jeez, this is expensive. Why did I? No, 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 no. Actually, you know what? The reason why it could be so inefficient is because there's no storage near this area. That could be the reason. Just that these guys have to travel all the way over there to actually transport the food they're collecting. Hopefully this will increase the efficiency. We have zero firewood. Okay, you made a hundred of it. It's an eleven year old fisherman. Please, just, please, just get that up and running already. Yeah, not not a good start. It's uh, pretty slow moving. Oh, it's not even the end of it. Sooner production will completely. Right as we lose all our clothes. Jeez, can we, oh. This guy's just not working at all. Thank you. Right, hopefully that'll make things better. Right, or I think our food's starting to increase slightly. I'm just waiting on for the school. Yeah, stone is the only problem now. And I completely forgot whether I... I don't think I did. There we go. Nomad well. This thing will attract nomads. We don't have to build that expensive town hall. I need nomads now. I'm just, I need them. Yeah, that pasture is quite big, but I think it's worth it. Cool. Right, 
Good. Now we have a t uh, we have a teacher, and we should be getting students, and then later on educated adults. Twenty-eight things that need removal. Wow. What? Where is woodcutter living at? <sighs> yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. So, please tell me you're more efficient now. Oh, yes you are. The hunting cabin. Produced 1200, and it's not even the end of the year yet. This has produced like I don't know, 1400. I uh, around that much. I don't know. Okay, that's a lot better. So it was a storage problem, and only 430. I'm gonna have to destroy this building and place it somewhere else. Cause that's disgusting. I don't think building these at a lake is very efficient. I think uh, uh, placing them around rivers is a lot better because you can get around 10,000 fish in a year. Oh nice, we have one single student. Well ain't that awkward. Taking a very long time, and it's possible because they're working to. Uh, yeah, it's because they're mining the stone. We really have to build this quickly now, because I'm afraid these freezing cows might die soon. Please. So it's winter right now. This has generated about 600 fish. I'm not impressed. Uh, Four. I'm using four whole like workers on that just to get 600, and I. <laughs> that's so bad. And I feel like if I just take him out, I'm just gonna die. At least we now have a food surplus. So that's that's great. It's a stone that we don't have. Wait, why are we? Why did we just run out of? The... Oh, I completely forgot we're building the well. Where did I place this thing? I completely forgot about the well. <laughs> Let's build that up. But to prepare for nomads, we're obviously gonna need uh, a boarding house, uh, like a, a hospital, because they need a place to live when they actually come. You can't just move into all these houses, and they can easily bring disease. So, we need some form of medication. Progress here is uh, very slow. Right. You are an educated bill. Okay. We are almost out of tools. We are completely out of clothes, even though the citizens are still wearing them. So our efficiency will go down now. We need more tools. Are you kidding me? 79 out of 80. You're trolling. You can't do this to me, dude. Come on. Finish it. I reason why I need to finish this quick is so he can I can make him become a laborer to help out with the pasture. Oh jeez. Okay, thank you. Okay, please. Distribute these vlogs to this. We can't accept nomads right now. We just, we just can't. I, okay, I guess we could take out a few people from here. 
but <laughs> I'm just worried about food because when the nomads come, we'll have a, a food shortage. I mean, it depends. Sometimes we generate so much food and doesn't really affect it very much. Okay, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Just 38 more logs. Shouldn't be that hard. Why are you going all the way over there? You're working. Is there no more... Okay, there's no more wood in this stockpile. Great. Okay, I know why it's so slow though. Food has gone below 3,000. Okay, once we start uh, taking care of these cows, we'll um, we'll get milk, which is great. And then once uh, they fill up the pasture, and we'll start slaughtering them. We'll get beef and uh, leather. Leather will be extremely important for making clothing because the tailor is really fast, uses up a lot of leather really quickly. Even if you have lots of hunting cabins, it's ridiculous. And we don't get that much leather anyway, so... Okay. So it can hold up to 20, 25 cows. That's pretty good. One laborer. I'm worried. What's about to come? Okay, let's place the uh, down the blacksmith. Since we're really gonna need it. But we have no people to employ onto there. You just can't have zero laborers ever. Uh, because if a teacher dies somehow, either through childbirth or I don't know, something random happens, it all the students that are in the school will instantly become uneducated adults, and that's terrible. That's 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 horrible. So you gotta have at least one laborer, because they replace the uh, the they take the role of the people who die. Oh no, we're like almost out of tools completely. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna leave this episode off here. Not doing very good. <laughs> we have no clothes and we have a huge tool shortage and the fire. We have a Barely any firewood. What's going on here? At least we got the food situation back up. Uh, we're already getting milk from here. Sweet. Our woods is doing pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I think in the next episode I'll just start expanding even more. I'll hopefully get. I don't know. I'll, I'll try to get nomads. Uh, so that I can employ a lot of people into here. So I can uh, tools, clothing, um, and yeah.